Oh my goodness. Do you feel like this is like... Oh, shh, don't talk, don't talk. Just construct. No, we have to talk. No, 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 don't talk, don't talk. <laughs> no, 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 we, no, we, no, we gotta, no, you can't I touch, though. No, I can do whatever No, you can't touch, you can't touch. That's part of my No, you can't touch, that's disqualification. No, 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 It's been a tough year. We've had COVID. COVID. Some people got the vaccine. And some people didn't, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I've been lucky to have so much and so much blessings in my life. I've got the love of my life. Even though he doesn't have a job, doesn't have a job, he's got a big fucking dick, a big fucking dick, and I love that about him, yes I do. Sometimes though I wake up in the middle of the night and go, hey Tad, I think you broke my pussy, broke my pussy. Broke my pussy. For Christmas I got Broke her a new pussy. pussy. Got me a new pussy. I got her a new pussy got for me Christmas. A new pussy for because Christmas. my penis broke the first one. He broke my pussy. You can't return a pussy to your mom. No, you can't. Because things get weird. Thank you so much for joining our uh, Christmas Spectacular. Uh, this is Couples Therapy with Tad and Katie. Oh my God. I Okay, I spent all night... That's not your Christmas present, but I spent all night writing that. Thanks for just jumping in, by the way. That's how you know we're, that's how you know we're a couple that's going to make it. Wait, you wrote that? Uh, yeah, I write songs. You know that's what it wouldn't be when I was a kid. What the fuck? I just like chimed in like I just pulled those lyrics out of my asshole yeah well you're like you're good at that stuff I have to sit down and write and craft like an actual tune you're like one of these guys that can just like ooh make up shit on the spot and make up a new move called the helicopter where you make me put my finger in my ass while you grind your wiener on my fucking which by the way true story I did have like an issue like girls raise your hand if you've ever had your vagina broken Keep that hand raised if you've been insecure about it. Raise that hand higher if your boyfriend didn't want to drive you to the hospital and buy your antibiotics. Take your hand even up higher than that if that makes you reevaluate who you are and who you're with and what kind of standards you have. And put your hand down if you're excited for Christmas. What the fuck? If you didn't see our last episode of Couples Therapy... um, Basically, uh, we had a lot of breakthroughs. Yeah, I guess. People voted that we stay together. Um, and that's what we're doing right now. We're trying it out. This is not a... It's kind of a big deal. This is our first Christmas together, Katie. Yeah. And, and I want to make it special, all right? Well, I would fucking hope so. Like, this... Not a big holiday guy over here. Thanksgiving. Didn't really do shit. Went to IHOP. They don't have turkey at IHOP. There's no turkey mashed potato pancakes well you didn't want to go to denny's and they do have a thanksgiving dinner there denny's is for homeless people and blind people (laughs) and people who like have like daddy issues and i love my dad and i don't need to go wharf my face in a fucking lobby pie what's a restaurant that you don't have daddy issues if you go to i'm i'm curious right now um okay chili's outback steakhouse maggiano's panera kfc taco bell combos gas stations um where they have the ro- the food on the wheel um i don't know you're most- talking about the, you're saying you don't have daddy issues if you get taquitos on a 
Thanksgiving that roll around the machines. Like, you know, you my know, dad you know. used to take us to gas stations to get those on the weekend. So, yeah, that's not really something that makes me <laughs> think I had a poor father figure. Katie, I'm starting to think <clears throat> that your dad fucked you up. <laughs> You're right. But not. Not because he wanted to. It, I've been wanting actually to bring this up for a while, Tad, and you just don't seem ever receptive enough to... Yeah, I've been wanting to not listen for a while. Go ahead. I swear to God, if you don't let me start really being who I am, I'm going to take a lot of Ambien and cut your fucking dick off in your sleep and put it in your mouth, and you're going to wake up and go, oh, am I sucking my own dick? Because it'll be so small. And... I'll go, yeah, you uh, slept walk into the kitchen, grabbed a knife and cut off your own dick and tried to suck it because you said that you're better than I am, which is kind of true, probably. Katie, I hope you do take that Ambien and I hope that you fall asleep and I, then I hope you go into a coma. And then they ask me, hey, Tad, are you the next of kin? Are you are you the, the person who's dating this beautiful model? I'll be like, uh, I think you got the wrong girl. And then I'll be like, yeah, I do want you to pull the plug. I hope you meant that metaphorically I'm pulling the plug. No, and not I like- don't mean that metaphorically because guess what? You look like you've already been in a coma because you haven't shaved your fucking beard in two weeks. This yeah. is the hairiest bitch I've ever dated in my life. Well, Omicron is actually very real. And it's making some of us scared to do our routine. Is that a transformer? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Very funny. Read the news. <laughs> Do you ever listen to our president? Omicron is out there and it's coming for us. It's coming Why would for I you. listen to Bush? Oh my God. This is, this is a lot right now. Not only are you unaware and unavailable, but you're gross. You're just so... You're lucky you've got a medium-sized girthy hog. <laughs> we just sang a song about how big my dick was. Don't demote it to medium. I know, That's I know, offensive. I know. I know. It's just my way of like poking fun. <laughs> Which, by the way, speaking of poking fun, there's been a lot of comments on the YouTube about... I, we appreciate the feedback, but like you guys are getting a little too... I don't know, like definitely... People who aren't in relationships love to tell people about what it's like to be in a relationship. Yeah, there's a lot of judgmental people in our comment section on YouTube. Yeah. So I guess you can leave a comment and a like below and maybe we'll read them or something. But like last time, we checked out some of the comments oh and uh, I don't appreciate how many dudes were trying to bang my chick in the comment section. Yeah. That's not cool, dude. That is, well, it was pretty cool. <laughs> it wasn't all it wasn't all bad. It was just like, be like, I'm still a woman. I still want to be courted and like finessed and like, you know, say like, don't just like throw me down and give it to me and say, you know, if Tad ever finds out, you know, he's going to want to fight you. And you get courted all the time. You go to the mall and you get Panda Express and you're like, oh, I'm so full. I can't even fucking move. <laughs> That's a good me impression. I do love their chow mein and it's tough. It's heavy. It's heavy on your body. By the way, thanks for remembering that I go places without you. This guy is so fucking... You're the one who's always like, oh, I'm an independent woman. I can do stuff all on my own. And then I freaking say, go. Go. I don't want to see you anymore, okay? And then you're like, all right, I'll be back in nine. I'm like, don't come back. And you're like, ha you're playing hard to get. And I say, no, seriously, here's your house keys. Go. Actually, give those back to me because I don't want you to be able to open the door when you come home. I love you so much. <laughs> Would you like a glass of human decency and mutual respect? Oh, okay. Oh, it tastes so good. <sighs> Do you ever have the feeling that you want to kill someone? Yeah. I look back at our last episode and somehow you're fatter than last time. <laughs> oh, wow. It's called Pilates every other day. It's also called I up my protein. Okay. I'm not just having vanilla wafers and beef jerky sticks now. I'm having some chicken. Well, maybe if you cooked a little bit for us, you'd be a little bit more healthy. <laughs> You know what I'd like to cook you up? A little slice of Christmas fuck you pie. Because, Tad, 
I got you a present this year and I didn't even want to because you've been so bah humbug. Have you guys seen the movie Scrooge with Scrooge? This guy's like one of those guys that's like, oh, Christmas is coming. Time for you to wear some fucking outfit that's going to make your tits look fat. You, it, you know Scrooge isn't like a guy, right? Like an actor plays him. Okay, and Santa Claus isn't real? <laughs> what are you saying right now, Todd? You're being very cryptic. What's your favorite part about Christmas? I've got a few. Well, I think our viewers would love to know what sort of things get us fired up to connect. Because um, Christmas is all about family and connecting and maybe some foreplay. We'll talk about that later, ladies. So... What is your favorite thing about Christmas that people might go, oh, I also enjoy that. Uh, I love the snowfall. Um, it reminds me of Coke that I did in college. That was pretty dope. <laughs> true, true. Facts, facts. Uh, I love um, like uh, the Jingle Bells song. Do you uh, really? Yeah, it reminds me of, like fat tits for some reason. I don't know why. Cause jingly fat jingle bells like and like jingle like jingle tits like jiggle jingle jiggle jiggle bellies jiggle bellies and, J- and yeah. bellies are and yeah. chunky and tits if you have a big yeah. belly you have fat tits that's usually the science behind it and so that's why people are like oh she's fat I'm like yeah but she's also got fat big, tits big old titty <laughs> <laughs> I. I got my Kirkland booster yesterday, so you can go to Costco now and get a Kirkland booster. You know Kirkland who makes like buns and cashews and yeah. stuff? They now are given vaccines. Pretty much everybody has a vaccine now. It's pretty crazy. Like Foot Locker has a vaccine. Do they really? <laughs> yeah. Jamba Juice, Wetzel's Pretzels. Do you like what I'm wearing? Speaking of new purchases and holiday cheer, you're dressed. First of all, people need to know it's about Tad. Red is his favorite color. He was in the Bloods. He killed two people. He has that tattoo on his ankle of, or maybe got it removed. Or he talked. He wants to get a tattoo of like all the people he killed in the gang. But I like red because it's it's a Christmas color. I'm thinking about getting teardrop tattoos next to my butthole, so it looks like my butt's crying. Ooh, hard pass. First of all, why would your butt be crying? That's super prisony. I don't know. Maybe I have IBS or something. Tad got funnier in the last couple weeks. And this is one thing, ladies, that saves a relationship. He, when he makes me laugh, I get turned on. I get hungry. Sometimes one takes precedence over the other. You always so, get hungry after any activity. Oh, yeah. Like, lasa- like <laughs> this one time we were scissoring in an Uber pool and... 10 minutes later, I was like, I want lasagna so bad right now. And the Uber driver was like, put your fucking thong on. And I was like, stop looking at my fucking twat. <laughs> that was a weird night. That was, ugh, that was Anaheim, when I think. Were, when was this? Anaheim. Oh, you weren't there. That's We went to the Toby Keith concert. No, but what, was I dating you at the time? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> Did you hook up with a fucking Uber driver? Tad, newsflash, you're not my first or my 50th. <laughs> it's, Wait, we have to do this right now? I mean, and we it's going to be painful, and the viewers at home are going to feel uncomfortable when they're watching it with their girlfriends, but I need to know what your number is right now. You need to tell me what your fucking number is. Well, if we're asking how many fingers you can get in there, why don't you fucking make an appointment at the Peninsula Hotel, and we'll figure it out together over a cucumber salad. Todd, I, what can I say? I'm irresistible. Like the song says, simply irresistible. I did not expect that voice to come out of that female body. Yeah. And it was hot. Thank you for saying my body's female. Yeah. I'm a constantly, I don't want to get into it, but I'm con- Babe, do you not feel like your body's good enough? I don't know. It's just like, sometimes you want me and sometimes you don't. And I, I, even the way you're just touching my shoulder right now makes me feel like I'm just like a kid you're letting go from Taco Bell, you know, like a young kid who, and you're the boss being like, Trevor, you just don't know how to make chalupas the way chalupas are supposed to be made. Therein lies the fact of the matter of the problem. And so you're a cool kid. I like your swagger, I like your mojo, you're woke, bet, but you're also a fucking distraction. 
Every time I look over at the Chalupa machine, I see you spacing out, looking at some customer, wondering why you don't live their life. Well, I'm telling you this much, Trevor. You fucking suck. You're a fucking idiot. I fucking hate you. I only hired you because your mom has fucking put up on this. And that's not good enough. That's not good enough. And you got a weird fucking eye, dude. I don't know which... I don't know which one to look at, dude, because the bad one's just as bad as the good one. Does that even fucking register with you? See, dude, this whole time you've been looking down at the ground. Yeah, dude, you know what, actually? You can have your job back if you pick up that fucking taco, scoop up the meat that's right next to the fucking fryer, and eat a fucking floor taco, dude. And if you eat a fucking floor taco, I'll make you manager tonight. And then you can have the keys. To the Cine Twist machine. Call all the bitches in the land and bring them over and give them cinnamon twisties. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I felt like I just got possessed by that manager. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate that you've recognized that I'm trying to make myself better. My number, Can I tell you? My number hey. is. How's that? Is that better? I mean, yeah, it feels like I'm... How about that, huh? Well, now I'm having flashbacks to PE. (laughs) Did you guys ever, like, have a creepy PE teacher? I'm sure you did. I'm sure you were that guy. (laughs) Fucking psycho. No, I didn't teach PE at my high school or grade school. Yeah, I know you didn't, Tad. You're not good with kids, which is a big problem in our relationship. I want to have four. Why do you want to have four? Uh, Because I need people to take care of me when you die or get murdered. Why would I get murdered? People see you, Tad, and they're threatened by your charm and your talents. And yeah, so at some point in your life, people are going to step to you on the streets and you're going to have to defend yourself. And I don't know. You don't have a gun. You don't have fucking, you have, you're double jointed. That's not good for a fight. Or maybe it is actually. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to set up a fight for you. I kind of want to like go to a bar and get fucked up and like grab some guy's cock and like do that to it and see what you do like would you defend my honor or would you would you run what if the guy wanted to beat your ass for grabbing his dick well then i'll fucking step up you think i'm not you think i'm afraid of a of a bar fight to the streets oh my god can you imagine if i just start robotting and the guy like gets scared that's really good actually oh that's actually kind of hot wait okay oh this so what would you do to me as this guy? As this guy? Yeah. As oh, I would be like, hey, could I get your number? I'd like to call you later. Oh, this guy's cool. Because later tonight, I'd like to. Oh, where did you just go? That is. Oh, is that my butt? Jesus. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> go, Mike. Now what are you doing? I'm popping and locking inside your pussy. Ever had that happen before? No, I haven't. Okay, yeah. And then I'm all like, who's this guy? Where's he from? And my friends are like, you need to... Oh, oh my gosh. You just... Oh, Oh, no. And now I'm definitely having to go to the doctor. What are you looking for? What? You made a face like you were like looking for like bats to fly out of a cave. You were like, oh, my God. We're in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and you looked up for the bats. You see, you see that movie, uh, 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 Batman Begins. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crows. <laughs> yeah, that was my. Oh my God, Tad. It's that cavernous. High five. It is big, but well, I don't do my kegels as often as I should. Yolo. TMI. Fuck it. <clears throat> so my number is if, if, if my, kegels. If you thought they were were keeblers, then you'd be all about it every day. <laughs> no shit. Cookies and elves? Nope. Just your pussy not tightening. If I could get, <laughs> if I could get Keeblers to do my Kegels for me, oh my God. Keeblers. Do you think dwarves but, would rather be called Keeblers? <laughs> Isn't that more racist than like the M word? I, I, <sighs> oh my God. Can you imagine calling a little person the Keebler? <laughs> oh, I thought you were uh, going to say, can you imagine... Calling a little person an N word oh, Keebler. That's even, oh my like a black, God. Like that would be next level racist. A black Keebler. A, ooh, that just that's sounds That's a great bad. band name, though. 
Black Keebler. Boy, that's a great like. Hey, who did you see at um at uh freaking uh the concert this year? I don't know concerts too well. Have you seen live music before? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, what's the last music festival you've been to that wasn't in a dungeon with people with fuck swings and masks? Um, I saw this uh little band called ICP one time. Oh yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they're pretty good. They've got. There's something about seeing live music post Cove that's mm-hmm. like exciting and black. And Keeler, by post Cove, she used to live in an alcove, which is like a little cave outside of an island. So yeah. that's what she's referring to. She was raised by what was it? Tangerines and orangutans. I mean, let's orangutans. Just, <laughs> I'm fucking high right now. Yeah, you. So Tad started taking edibles, which. Don't worry, they're not like CBD, they're like real THC. And he's actually gotten smarter and more thoughtful and he gets more done during the day. I mean, tr- you know, truth be told, it took him four hours to do his fucking laundry and he was washing one pair of socks and some jean shorts. I started taking this pill called Alpha Dick yeah. and uh, it's basically got a horse logo on the side of it. Oh, and it does help, ladies, if that was what your next question was. Hey, excuse me, uh, does it make you more pleasurable in the bed? Uh, yes, it does, Corinne. <laughs> it gives you stimulation. Like, my clit came. Like, usually you come, you're, you get your clit to, to uh, come, but my clit's clit came. Does that make sense? It sounds gross. I have two clits. Wait, what? Yeah, da 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 da. Holiday news flash. So was that the news anchor? I was born. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, tonight on Channel Five News. Hi, I'm Brenda Brenders, and tonight we're gonna talk about the storm that's coming through. It's a winter wonderland. Possibly, will snow keep the kids indoors? Hopefully not, because you're fucking sick of your little shithead kids that you made. And had to spend more time with on Zoom because they couldn't understand what was happening. Da, da, also, da, 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 da. Hey, uh, uh, this is uh, Chuck Charlson. Ooh, uh, with your morning drive time. Traffic is unbearable. Damn it! And you know what else is unbearable? What's that? Listening to Katie on the regular. We're gonna go live to Tad right now and see what he thinks about his relationship. Hey, what's up? This is Tad coming at you live. Uh, I just fucked uh, my girlfriend, Katie. Uh, whack pussy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I stay with her for the love of the game, um, not for the love of the relationship. Um, back to you in the studio. Da, 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 da. Hey, it's Chuck Charlson. Uh, man, that was uh, fucking pathetic. And I, I wish I would have never read that news on uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, back to you over on weather. Oh, hello. My name's Dale Dimerson, and we've got a lot of snow with a lot of emotional baggage coming through Katie's apartment right now. Back to you at the anchor desk. Da, 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 da. Hey, Chuck Charlson here again. Just reported live on the scene. Katie's dead. Let's go to Tad, live on the scene. <laughs> I died? Hey, my girlfriend finally took too many Ambien, and uh, yes, I'm going to pull the plug. I hope everybody is supporting us um, by liking and commenting on um, our th- therapy video uh we love you and merry christmas da, 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 da. that's all uh for this uh, uh news uh fucking bye you know how the santa claus is your favorite christmas movie yeah that was literally like nightmare on 34th street with tim allen I don't like it when you get upset like this. Well, you just basically played out a whole scenario where I kill myself for Christmas. But was it good television? As a viewer, would you, if it wasn't you, be like, oh, this is fucking interesting? Well, yeah, Tad, I'm drawn to chaos. I'm a human being. If I see a news headline that says there's a new carnival downtown and kids get in free, I go, well, we have a bearded what? lady there. Her name's Katie. Yeah, and she's fucking shooting people up with herps. Yeah, then I go, I'm tuning into this broadcast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you have herps? Uh, Have I had them? Yes. Do I currently have them? I don't know. Why? Because we're having sex all the time. I need to know if you have herpes. (laughs) You are such a... This is what I'm talking about. In 2022, I want you to man the fuck up. Everyone has herpes. Everyone has gonorrhea. Everyone has HPV. This is why we have... This is why we have Tylenol. You know, there's things that we just deal with in our life. By the way, my number of guys, 66. I'm three away from 69. 
We're excited. Uh, couple, couples Therapy is excited to welcome our new sponsor, Beanbox. Go on. Do you have a vagina that smells like coffee? Well, <laughs> this is not that company. Oh. We call our coffee lots of things. Cup of Joe, Java, Mud, <laughs> Rocket Fuel. Now there's a new name that's going to be on every coffee drink. Caffeinated Lips. Beanbox. One time I went down on Katie and it smelled like refried beans, but it didn't smell like coffee beans. I like the smell of coffee beans and I like bean box the way it is. Straight from the beans into my mouth. Beanbox connects coffee lovers to some of the world's best specialty coffees with expertly curated tasting flights, perfect for gifting. I mean, I gave a gift uh, to my, uh, my side piece uh, for Christmas and she loved it. She loved it. It really woke her up in the morning. It was your, really nice. Your what? Every order is roasted fresh and delivered at peak flavor. Beanbox sources all their coffee from some of the best artisan roasters in the U.S., so you support small roasters with every sip. It's probably a joke. <laughs> Not a joke. And each box comes with tasting notes and brewing tips, too. With coffee sampler, gift subscriptions, and biscotti. Know what that is? Ooh, that's like one of those... No. Uh, I thought it was a dog, but it turns out it's like a biscuit that you put in your mouth and you dip in coffee, and it tastes really good. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, they got chocolate tasting boxes. Uh, one time I went down on her and it tasted like chocolate. Um, True. Turns out she did put Hershey syrup down there and we just really went for it. I was trying to be sexy on his birthday. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> he did. He actually did because he got like. I got an infection. He's allergic to chocolate. Give the coffee fanatic in your life an unforgettable coffee tasting experience with Beanbox. Order today at beanbox.com slash Jeremiah and get 20% off purchases of $40 or more. That's 20% off purchases of $40 or more with promo code Jeremiah at beanbox.com slash Jeremiah. <laughs> That's awesome. And $40 can go by so quick. Like when I go to Sephora, I literally spend $40 like that. Yeah. Like that. It just goes right by real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, this is why I have a spending problem. I'm an impulse buyer. <clears throat> but I'm a generous shopper. Oh, I thought you said a spinning problem. Do you know what that is? It's when you can't fully rest on a penis and you just keep getting spun and spun around. People do that? Um, I would hope. Have you spun? You can, well, I Wait, mean, so when you tell me you're going to spin class, is that where you're going? Uh, to learn how to spin on dicks? No, no, no. Girls spinning on me. So you know that my hot yoga instructor? If that's your hall pass, congratulations. You can only do it five more times. I get five more hall passes? Yeah, I've had it a more year or two. Uh-oh. Have you been cheating on me? No. How did how did you keep that away from me? No, I haven't. How did you keep that away from me, huh? I haven't been cheating on you. I've been how did busy. you I've been busy. How did you keep your, your privacy? Busy. On your internet and your phone without me knowing, huh? You sound like Tony Dana's garbage disposal right now. <laughs> like I just turned on the, the, the light, which I thought was a light over the sink, but it turns out is like the, the, the disposal. I mean, are you or are you not cheating on me? Because you know what I was wondering about? What? I was wondering how you're keeping all your internet and your passwords and your streaming services so private from me. Well, I, I just, I have a thing I use. It's, it's called, called Nord VPN. Yes. Yeah, it's it's like a cyber Swiss army knife with many features and USPs. Yes. <laughs> so check that out. They've got like cybersecurity, content, TV and film, streaming services, tech, travel, family, sports, gaming. They've got all that stuff to make sure that you actually have your identity and all the stuff that you want hidden online private. Because yeah. let's just say, I go to a lot of porn websites. Yeah. And she has no idea Until what, now. what my likes are. Which okay? ones? I watch a lot of POV stuff. Oh, that is pretty cool. A lot of guys looking at their biceps <laughs> and kissing it. <laughs> With the camera pans over to a bulging, veiny bicep, and then it goes right back down to the girl, glurp, glurp, glurping away, and then and <sighs> then resting a dumbbell on the back of their neck to make sure that they keep going. I like that kind of stuff. That's hot. So with NordVPN, they make sure that nobody will ever find out my secret delights like that. Because you're a freak and you want your freaks to be protected. You want your stuff to... The Do government's watching everything anyway, so maybe, might as well... 
hide some of it. Maybe you need to look at some dope porn in like another country, or maybe you just need Netflix. Sometimes stuff isn't available like in certain regions and stuff, like on Amazon Prime and if sort of like that. You need to log in from somewhere else that's discreet. Oh yeah, there's you like there's that. like babysitters getting fucked in the woods in Czechoslovakia. That's like really like it's really hot. <laughs> like I've never been an outdoor fucker, but. Like they go to these, the, the, some woman gets out of a cab and she's like, and then the guy's like, eh, do you want to go to the woods and fuck? And she's like, but I'm just a chick person. It's fucking like the stories are crazy. It's hot. And I've never even found out about that until now because she uses NordVPN. Protect your shit. Grab NordVPN Cyber Month deal. Go to NordVPN.com slash Jeremiah to get up to 73% off your NordVPN plan plus a bonus gift. It's equivalent to buying a cup of coffee every month. Like you said, mm. a small price to pay for premium cybersecurity and access to vast amounts of entertaining content. There's a 30 day money back guarantee if NordVPN is is not for you so there's no risk no pressure we suggest that the host oh fuck i wasn't supposed to read that oh my god we'll edit this out oh my god that was so fucking bad you said you fucking practiced this i did practice it oh my god i just so learned how to read yesterday so fucking shut embarrassing the, shut up what the fuck is your problem i'm trying to pay for this podcast you're so fucking it up we rented this for this christmas extravaganza and we barely even talked about christmas on this program if the ad readers find out that we fucking butcher their copy they'll fucking lose it now you're blowing out the audio sorry. levels bitch so anyway sorry, sorry. go to nordvpn.com slash jeremiah or use code jeremiah to get up to 73 percent off yeah hell yeah that's a good one actually like that's actually a good thing like that's pretty cool right it's like very cool that they wanted to sponsor this but also like really does help your shit like a lot do you know how many fucking weird rabbit holes i go on how many weird rabbit holes like do you YouTube know? rabbit holes? Oh my god! You ever seen have you like ever looked at rabbit hole porn? Is that a real category? Mm hmm. Do you know what? Do you do you want to know what it is? <laughs> oh god, not really. Okay, but show me. I guess I can't show you on YouTube. <laughs> it's way too graphic to show you on YouTube. I think you're being serious. Have you ever been to a magic show? Oh my god! Okay, Wait. you know how there's a top hat and usually a rabbit. Yeah. Okay, and the magician usually pulls the rabbit out of the hat. Yeah, that's been happening for centuries. Okay. Well, with rabbit hole porn, you basically oh god carve like the popcorn trick out of the bottom of the top hat, and then when the assistant goes to pull out the bunny, she pulls out a dick, and she just starts putting it right in her face, and she's like, "Oh, is this your little bunny rabbit?" Oh, tricks are for kids, I thought, but not anymore. Ew, 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 ew. This sounds like a weird show. Yeah. It's called rabbit hole porn. Yeah, no, I mean, I got the words to type in for the search. Can we get back to fucking Christmas? This is barely a Christmas. Well, honestly, these are the types of things you do with your family during Christmas. You have so much downtime. This is why... I'm coming to your house this year for Christmas as people have been watching on my Instagram story. It's like, I'm nervous. I'm like, I'm meeting his family for the first time. Like I've never, I've never met a guy's family. I'm thinking if I meet his family, it'll make us closer or it'll be fucking Nazis. And I'll be like, Hey, see you guys at the proud boy diner. Why are those your two options? Huh? I don't know. I just feel like you have an uncle that I see a lot of Facebook posts from. And he's always like, I don't know. He's, he's, he sent me an invite to a QAnon Facebook group. Okay, let's not bring up my uncle Nathaniel into this, okay? His name's Nathaniel? Yeah, it's Nathaniel. Wow. He. Do you know what his Facebook profile says? What? Not the real Tom Hanks. And oh. I was always like, is this Tom Hanks trying to be funny? I wasn't aware of that. Wow, your uncle sounds like a real fucking winner. Psych. <laughs> no, but I'm excited. I, I, I got you something for Christmas. I... I thought we were going to do presents on Christmas. I thought that it might be good for our couple's therapy. To... I do. What? I do love the idea that you got me a present. <laughs> okay, cool. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I got you a gift. and um... Oh, sweet. Did you, oh, get, it... did you give me a gift? Yeah, but I'm just so taken aback by your wrapping skills. This is legit. Is it a bag of licorice sticks nope do you want to open it ted that looks like a bag from like a cheap 
toy store listen, that doesn't sell toys. Listen, I know I I'm There's on you Taco a lot. Taco Bell manager rub okay, again. Listen, listen. I was like, that's better. It is actually better. Listen. Oh, okay. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. Yeah, okay? you are. And I know I rub my heart on on you sometimes. Yeah, you treat me like a massage chair in the mall that people rub their dicks on. Yeah, and I know I treat you like a piece of public property, and yeah. I just you know whip my penis out like it's an alley that it's, I want to defecate in. Well, how are we going to change that? With communication. I'm down for that. I'm going to work on myself, okay? Yeah. This is what this couples therapy Christmas is all about. Listen, I love you, all right? And I want to spend more time with you. And I want to give you a gift. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so... Ah, <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> Your, your hair is oily as fuck, by the way. I'm sorry. I haven't shampooed or showered in a week. Okay. COVID. I am legit nervous right now. Like, can you guys see how I'm shaking and sweating? <sighs> Here we go. Doesn't feel like an engagement ring. It feels round like an egg. That Did you give me a hard-boiled egg? I do love hard-boiled eggs, but that would be kind of fucked up because that's not like an expensive gift, but I'd mm -hmm. also go cool starter gift. I am hungry. I, my doctor said I need more gluten in my diet. Ooh, it's an easy beat egg spider portable pleasure device. One device with lotion, super stretch sensations for men, for men. Yeah. Do you know what that is? No, but I'm going to open it. Do you want to? Do you want to open that? Fuck yeah, I do. What is this? You have to. You have to tear the packaging if you're gonna God. open it. I'm so confused on what this is. It looks like. Use the mic, babe. It looks like. So I'm okay. Well, it looks like a regular egg. Maybe it is a hard boiled egg, but it's a use for pleasure. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been to this sex store in like 20 years. So, here we go, guys. Here's my Christmas present. Uh, I guess like a joke egg. Get ready for a snake to pop out and scare me. <laughs> I do. I do hate getting spooked. So this is probably why he's getting me this gift. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> don't. Don't. Wh why is it shaking like it's jelly? <gasps> okay. You see this? <sighs> You know how sometimes you're on your period? Y'all, yeah, like most days. Yeah. I can't stop bleeding, by the way. Do you girls ever get that three-month period in your life where your pussy won't stop being a period piece? Okay. What I want you to do is grab the egg on the tip of my finger and pull down. <laughs> Come on, Katie. Do it. I need you to do this with me. Is this going to make us stronger? <laughs> you know it's going to make us stronger as a couple. Oh. Do what? Grab it and pull grab, it down? Grab the top. Like I'm trying to like, like you're pulling on a sweater? Yeah. But go to the very top. Yep. Put your fingers. Yep. Uh, uh huh. And do what with it? All right. Now squeeze tight. Right. <laughs> now go now go now go now rub it down on my finger keep going keep going keep going keep going now what I want you to do is use that action over and over again go up and down with it keep going up and down with it keep going keep going I'm almost there I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, this is Sparta. Oh, boy, that was, um, I feel like I need some space. What do you mean? But it's not a great gift. It's for when you're on your period and you can't pleasure me. Tang egg. Wait, I supposed to jerk your finger off? Wait. No, that was I can't whip out my cock on YouTube. 
I don't know. The rules have changed in the last couple of weeks. I'm pretty sure they haven't that drastically. Oh, no. There's a mukbang video I watched of a guy who was eating like Doritos Locos Tacos or something. And then he just like started. You can do it. I think... That was Red Tube. That wasn't YouTube. Oh, that's right. I get the. I get all the tubes mixed up. I'm like a I'm like a doctor who doesn't know what fallopian tubes are. That's fucking gross. To, oh, Jesus. So you're supposed to put it in there? You put your penis in there and then you rub it up and down. Um, it's kind of weird to want a fucking egg, Tad. <laughs> Why? You have eggs? I fuck your eggs all the time. You don't fuck my eggs. Yeah, my I eggs do. are just around. So this is just around my cock. It's like our cat. You don't fuck our cat. It's just around when we fuck. You could say that about anything. Oh, there's that elf on the shelf. Oh, it's around. I've seen you try to do weird shit with that. This guy's got like a weird, like stuffed animal fetish. Shut, 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 shut up. Oh, you don't want the viewers to know that you have, you know, those big bears you can buy at Target, like will the you, stuffed bears. Will you please, will you please I came this? home one night and he was legit, like, had. <laughs> Let's just say it was Bad News Bears, the sequel. It was, imagine if in the movie The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio, instead of killing the bear, just was like, come here, bear. I'm going to give you the Care Bears double dare stare into my, and just freaking fuck them. Can you stop stop talking about my... Well, great gift. Thank you so much. Thank you. Could I have my fucking gift? Drum roll, please. So this is... You're the toughest person to shop for ever. Am I really? Yeah, you like have everything. You have the best girl. You have. Uh, Did you go to the buckle at the dreams mall? Dreams that people support. What? Nothing. Did I go where? The buckle. What the fuck is the buckle? It's like an outlet store at the mall. Oh great! It's and like, they've got like leather things that don't make me wet. <laughs> they got leather things. They've got gauntlets. Stop! 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 stop. I don't need to hear that you love outlet what stores. What makes you wet? Go. Uh, not talking about outlet stores, um, taking me to places I want to go to and dropping me off for six hours, um, getting the mail, buying me stamps, putting my mail in the mail on time. You know what gets uh, me hard? Tits. Yeah. Bread. Uh-huh. Me, Silence. Me when I rub my tits on the bread. <laughs> He's a fucking freak. That's what I call a yeast infection. Oh, uh, that's... Oh, my God. That was, oh, my God. That was... That was my Okay, so okay. your gift. I know you're a sweets guy. Yeah, I love sweets. Every time I'm like salty or sweet, he's like, yes, please. Sweet. No thanks, salty. You didn't even wrap it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you shit on <laughs> my little bag that I put effort into. Well, yeah, that was a shit bag. I would have rather had you hand it to me than put it in a shit bag. You literally would have let me hand you a raw egg. Those are the types of bags they like carry like hearts to medical places. The bag you gave me, I literally for a second was like, oh my God, he got me a fucking human heart. That's kind of romantic, but also what the fuck. <laughs> so fuck you. Handing it to you is way cooler and saving money. We're trying to save money. Okay, so we fine. can buy a plane ticket to go visit your fucking family for Obviously, Christmas. I had so to... maybe we need to cut okay, some fine. fucking money. I totally get that. All right. <laughs> so I know your favorite flavors are peanut butter and blueberry. And I know you like cookies and it's shaped in a heart and it's a heart cookie. So... Tad, I just want you to know how special you mean to me and how much I appreciate your friendship and your body and what? It says help a homeless pet. Is this a fucking dog cookie? (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, my fucking God. Is it really? Did you try to? It says a baked treat for dogs, you bitch. (laughs) It says all natural baked treat for dogs. What's your favorite flavors? Quit being so particular. Also, that's my way of telling you that I'm a bitch. No, let me finish, Tad. Please don't get so angry. Do you want to neuter me? Well, okay, fine. If you love me, you'll take a bite of this. <sighs> if you love me, Katie, you will take a bite of this dog treat. If you want to see me fucking puke on camera, then yeah. Open it up, bitch. By the way, fine. If there's, there's never been a snack I haven't met that I didn't want to take a bite of, but I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous for this because I don't do well with like thick cookies. Well, it looks like a peanut butter cookie with raspberry. Should I smell first or should I just take a bite? It says crude protein, 
minimum. It says, like, oh, it's just normal stuff. It says oat flour, rice flour, whole dried eggs, peanut butter, coconut oil, vegetable shortening, dried whey protein concentrate, dry whole milk, blueberries, rice syrup, baking soda, and salt. Oh, God. It smells like a dog treat, though. How good is that dog treat? Why does it smell like a weed cookie? Do you smell that? Oh, no, it smells like a dog treat. <laughs> How good is it? Is it legit bad? All right, just because I love you so much, I'm going to try some. I'll do it. <laughs> is it really that bad? I just, it's not good. This is. <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were fucking joking <laughs> It's one of the worst things I've put in my mouth And I've had Katie's pussy in my mouth Every night for six months True story Why did it get so dry I can't finish it Come on you can finish it I'm not gonna finish it I fuck you I will not finish it I'm movie. swallowing mine See, I did it. I just did it. Oh, I'm gonna be so sick. Why? It's all natural ingredients. It said. Oh, it tastes so bad. Oh god. <laughs> Is it bad? Am I gonna die? You're not gonna die. No, it just tastes bad. It just. Oh, fuck. Better or worse than my load? Oh, God. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I really try. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Did you know that this was a fucking dog treat when you bought it? <laughs> you just saw the heart, didn't you? You just bought this cookie. I can't. Oh. Do you want me to grab a wipe? I'll fucking puke. <laughs> Did you swallow any of it? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> what happened to your fucking voice just now? <laughs> oh. Are you gonna are you gonna chug some Starbucks with it? What's happening? You just turned into the guy from Temple of Doom. Golly bosh. Golly bosh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know, we just went through something together. We ate dog treats together. I love you. I need you to get me the phone number to the poison control center because I feel like I just ate a barbecued clit. And I have dog treat resonance on the inside of my teeth and every time I talk, I feel like I just let a dog breathe into my mouth. So listen, I've been wanting to ask you a question for a very long time and I think now is the perfect opportunity just showing what you did for me tonight. Yeah, which is a lot. I put myself on the line. Katie? Katie, look at me. Katie, look at me. Yes. It's your boyfriend, Tad. Good to see you. Katie? Katie. What? I'm Will obviously going through something right now. Will Ugh. you marry oh. my friend Derek? I know you just got ordained online recently and you can marry people. Will you do his uh, ceremony and officiate? He's been looking for like a priest or something. I know you're like non-denominational and you just filled out like the paperwork online. Will you marry my friend Derek? It would mean the world to me. It'd make me the happiest man in the world. 
Would you consider doing that? Derek, I'll, I'll let you know. I think she's in shock because she, uh, she's so like uh, humbled and honored to even be asked. Um, uh, this has been um, uh, Tad and Katie's uh, Christmas extravaganza or whatever the fuck we're going to call this. Um, <laughs> I just had a dog food burp and I almost threw up again just hearing your burp. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I love my girlfriend, uh, Katie. Will we stick together? Um, I don't know. Uh, leave a comment below. <laughs> I hope you <laughs> enjoy uh, this pro this program. Get the help you need to make your relationship better. Uh, eat dog treats for each other. Eat dog treats for each other. Shirk off their fucking pointer finger. Uh, save save your love if it's worth fighting for. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, oh, that too, yeah. Uh, Douchebags. Huh. Don't say that. That's so mean to the audience. That was love. That was love. I would eat dog food for you. I'd eat dog food for you. I would 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 eat dog food for you. That's about food the only you. thing I would do you. is eat dog what food the for what the fuck? you. For you, Merry Christmas for to all. You. I would eat dog food for you, and to all a good fight. Dog food for you. Thank you for watching dog Tad and Katie's you. Christmas dog Extravaganza you. or whatever dog food couples for you. therapy. Dog food for you. Will we stay together? I won't lick your balls, but I'll eat dog food for you. I would eat dog food for you. I won't pick you up from the airport, no, but I'd eat dog food for you. I'd eat dog food for you. I won't call your mom on her birthday because she's a cunt, but I'd eat dog food for you. She'd eat dog food for me. And I wouldn't tell you that you need to get your eyes fixed anytime soon because you squint when you go down on me and I think it's offensive naturally but I'd eat dog food for you He'd eat dog food for me I'd eat dog food for you And he'd eat it from a cookie He'd eat it from a cookie Maybe someday we'll get married because I showed him what it means to love. I dog food for him. What are you guys willing to do for your significant other? Other Co comment below. Goodbye. Goodbye. Later. That was really great. Yeah, I think we uh, accomplished a lot.